Sometimes you get a little bit bored of always doing the same A2 size card, the four and a quarter by five and a half, but to go out and buy other envelopes can also be kind of stressful and annoying. So today we're gonna to be working on some gatefold cards because gatefold cards allow you to keep the same size so you can use all of your standard envelopes, but it also will give you the opportunity to just make a little bit of a different fold and spruce things up on your cards a little bit. So we're gonna begin by cutting our cardstock to five and a half by eight and a half. This is going to give you a similar size card if you were going to be folding one in half like an A2 size card. It's the same size that we're working with. But this time we're gonna make a cut, or no, sorry, a fold line on the right and the left side of the card at two and one eighths of an inch. So that when you fold them into the center, the line where you open up the card is actually in the center of the card rather than off to the right hand side. So I decided to do some hot foiling here because as we figured out in the last couple of videos, something wasn't quite lining up and I blamed it on the coordinating die. But when I started stenciling and stamping and doing all those things and I started adding the paste over top of the stencil and the stamp, I realized that it's actually the stamp that isn't quite lining up. The coordinating dies fit perfectly to the coordinating hot foil plate as well as the stencils. So that's kind of cool, at least here I can salvage a little bit of this bundle. But I have contacted Pink Fresh Studios as per your suggestion and I'm just waiting on the response. Okay, so sticking to hot foiling because the stamp isn't quite working out for me, I decided to hot foil on top of two different kinds of cardstock, dark purple and gray to give myself two different looks for the gatefold card. So I decided to use some gold foil on the dark purple cardstock and I decided to use some holographic foil which is similar to silver, it just when the light hits it differently gives off a different color and I decided to use that on the gray cardstock. I had to hot foil these two times, once on top of the front of the card and once on top of the regular card panel, so I'll have some extra ornaments to cut out later. Now, when you are doing it on top of the gate foil style card, you are gonna have to tape down the insides of the gate fold so that everything stays perfectly flat while you're hot foiling. Now, once it was finished, I wasn't quite sure. Am I going to use the belly band for the gate foil card out of acetate, out of vellum, or out of plain cardstock? And I had a feeling that if I were to use vellum or acetate, that because because I already hot foiled the ornaments onto the background, it was going to be too busy adding some of those decorative ornaments on the belly band, but I wasn't quite sure. So I decided to make that one first. And all I do with my gatefold cards when I'm creating the belly band is I just wrap the a two inch piece of cardstock around and I just tape it as is. I don't do any sort of fold lines or anything like that. I just find it easier this way. You are gonna need to have some breathing room with your belly band so that it can slide on and off your card. In order to adhere it properly though, you are gonna need some tape, something strong so that it holds rather than liquid adhesive. And my original idea was too busy. When I added these belly bands here in acetate or in vellum and adding the ornaments on top, it really clashed with the background. So I definitely knew that I was gonna have to change something. So I grabbed some coordinating cardstock, some of the purple and the gray that I had left over from cutting the card anyway, and I used that for the belly band, adding just a simple ornament or three ornaments onto the front. But even that didn't quite look right. So what I did was I grabbed some of those colors that I also used in the card. So in this case, I grabbed some gold and I grabbed some holographic cardstock and I just cut some out to add to the belly band. Now by adding some gold and holographic cardstock to the belly band, it will make it thicker and more stable, but it also ties in the colors of the card. So I really love the way that it turned out even though I had to make some alterations along the way. Now if you like the belly band card look and you'd like to see more examples of this come meet me over here in this video and we'll take a look at some non-Christmassy style examples of belly band cards. Bye for now!